Hey, Project 24 members. Um, I have uh, some updates that I want to give you about some things that we're seeing in SEO that have been just mind boggling. Uh, Ricky, Freddie and I were talking about it yesterday. I had a little bit of a powwow trying to kind of fig figure things out. And it's we're we're flabbergasted, really. Um, so let's talk about it. Um, but first of all, uh, the Akabato theme in, is live in Project 24. Uh, we posted it. If you haven't seen that, go into the the forums and click just search Akabato, A C A B A D O, um, and you'll see the link there to download it. Um, so really excited. That's now in beta just for Project 24 members. We are going to sell it publicly. Um, later in a couple weeks, uh, but Project 24 members will always get it free for as long as you are a member. Okay, um, let's talk about SEO. So, a Google engineer, or their search evangelist did an interview this last week. Well, how, I'm trying to see how to tell this story. So, it, how, how do I tell this? Uh, try to make sure I get the right framework around this so you can understand. Um, the last two broad core, uh, updates, um, one was in early June and the other one was in April, I want to say, um, the last two broad core updates have done some odd things. Um, oh, after eight years of now never being hit by an algorithm update that I could see, um, we were affected in these last two. And so... We were just amazed, like, what in the world? We're always doing exactly what Google tells us to do. What happened, right? Um, and and I, it really hasn't changed the traffic or income on the site. So like on Camper Report, we saw these two drops on the days of the, of the algorithm updates. Now the traffic and the income on the site are really unaffected. Um, but that's because we've added a lot of content that's also hitting and because it's coming into the season. Um, so we haven't lost any income or traffic on the sites. Um, I mean, but we have seen a plateau where we had hoped to see some growth right now. Um, but either way, when we get hit twice uh, with uh, not, not a penalty, but an algorithm update, we're going to take notice, right? And so we've been just scratching our heads at what to even change because the Google search evangelist and the team at Google has really just said, yeah, just just make better content. And we're like, well, that's all we focus on, right? Like um, we're, we're the ones who are not doing anything black hat. Um, why in the world what's happening? And then they did, um, the search evangelist did a little uh, interview this last week and mentioned a couple things. Um, that uh, they mentioned that they're checking the the image that in your author bio for a post uh, to make sure that's not a stock photo um, because that's a way for them to check eat ex uh, expertise authoritativeness and trust right and that's why I say we were flabbergasted if you would have asked me oh, two weeks ago if Google checks that the author bio image is not a stock photo, that it's a unique photo of the actual person, I would have said, no way. Uh, and as Ricky pointed out yesterday as we were talking about this, they even say in their guidelines that it's perfectly defined to, to, to make a site under a pseudonym, where of course you wouldn't have a photo of you because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of a pseudonym. And so it's very bizarre um, to see this. Um, but Google is panicked right now about EAT. Um, and it's because of what happened with the Russia elections thing in the United States. You know, as we've mentioned before, when you get the CEO of Google being grilled before the U.S. Congress um, about, you know, uh, uh, showing inaccurate information and manipulation of search results, etc., they're going to make changes. Um, and we're starting to see it kind of in some odd, unexpected ways in Google. Um, and so, um, he, and, and I should also mention this most recent one also took a slight hit, um, you know, 8% to Dirt Bike Planet. Um, and, but it wasn't affected by the first one. 
And all our other sites are fine, I should mention. And all our new sites are growing just fine. Uh, uh, Snake Owner that we've now rolled into Amboro Pets is doing great. It's one of our new sites and it's up to over 42,000 page views a month now. Like we're seeing great things still, but it, we're fascinated by this. Um, and so I, I guess I wanna just walk you through kind of our takeaways from what we're learning is eat is a much bigger deal than we expected. Uh, we kind of wrote it off to, ah, it's mostly a YMYL sites kind of thing. Um, and we didn't realize how we were, frankly, we deserved to be hit by these updates because what we've done is, you know, we wrote Camper Report, Dirt Bike Planet ourselves. We wrote the content and we actually do know quite a bit about those topics. Um, and they've ranked great, brought in income, they worked. Exactly what we teach in Project 24 is exactly what we did. Uh, we created the site all on a, the same topic by one person who knows something about the topic. And then we did things like create a YouTube channel for them to create that eat, that authority. Say, hey, you know, there's a YouTube channel that's getting views here and it's linked into the site. Like this is a real deal. It's not just content mill junk, right? Um, and so, we did that right. And then we tried to scale, which is all what Project Rexburg is, right? We're like, hey, this is working awesome, so let's scale this. Um, and we made some critical missteps when we did. And that's why I say we, we deserved this is because we messed with the formula that we know works. Uh, we didn't do on the mass scale what we show in Project 24 because we have a writer who writes about snakes one day and then Rottweilers the next day, etc. They don't have a, an image in their author bio. Um, they aren't, you know, those writers aren't making the YouTube channels. And we've made so many different sites now that we can't keep up with those YouTube channels because of how we've, we've tried to scale it on our sites, right? And so we really teed this up for Google. We really are the case that Google should be um, trying to knock out because that that kind of content isn't as authoritative. And so I guess the reason I wanted to make this vlog um, is, I, I guess one is it's really a, a, a verification, I don't know what you call this, uh, of what we're showing in Project 24 in that framework. It's working really well uh, to have that one author, a real person making just the most helpful content, but also, we have in the 60 steps, you need to get out there, make that YouTube channel, and which makes some eat, some ex expertise, authoritativeness, and trust around your content. That's a critical step. Um, so that's, I, I think, pretty cool. But the other thing is many of you are trying to scale up your sites. And for you and us, uh, if you're buying a ton of content putting on the sites, take notice at what we're talking about here. Um, you know, we have been bad uh, on, their, on these sites about adding the privacy policy, uh, adding about content, about the authors, and getting some expertise, authoritativeness, and trust um, content ab around those authors. Most of them don't even have an author bio really written out. So we've done a bad job with that, even though that's in the 60 steps and we need to do that. Um, so if you're doing that, if you're buying a bunch of content, our recommendation is this. If you can, put all the content under one person's name. Uh, you know, if you're writing a thousand posts, that's gonna be a little bit, hmm, you know, do we believe that? Um, but, uh, but if you can, you know, even if you're buying 40, 50 articles, can you put it in your name still, and then you read through it and make sure you're tight on the quality that it looks as good as if you had written it. Make sure it's under your thing. Also create that YouTube channel, uh, doing what you can, maybe even write a couple of guest posts now. Maybe that's the world we live in now where you've got to do something to just show Google that, you know, people in the industry are okay with me, recognize me as being an authority. So I think there are some pretty minor steps that we need to take um, that can go a very long way with what Google is doing right now. So I just wanted to update you on this, what we're working on, what we're seeing on Google. Um, but really when it comes down to it, I don't think it impacts the 60 steps. I think it really just impacts those who are trying to scale and buy a bunch of content. I, again, I wouldn't even say don't do that. I would say still do that, but, um, but just be careful. 
that you can do that in a way that there's still measurable ways that Google says this person has authority. You know, this is solid content here that that individual who wrote that page will not the site as a whole. We're not talking about now start some link building campaign. It's not that. We're saying we want some links to your about page. Uh, we want that about content. We want that, you know, an address on your site, you know, to say this is a legitimate organization or person making this site. That kind of stuff is going a long way with Google right now uh, so that they can uh, rid the internet of spam. So just wanted to give you this update. Good luck, everybody, with your sites. And uh, we're excited to see what you make.